Hey, Jared, you there? Who are you? Oldman's Hill. Oh, well, while you're here, come on in. Let me show you my fridge and my gym. Come this way. I'm Dean. Is today my birthday? <laughs> uh, you can't go out. I'm a better hunter than you are. All right, guys. Here is where we do our cooking and eating. <laughs> yes, yes. You get, you get a cameo. What will we always find in your fridge? We have about a dozen chickens. We always have fresh eggs. I never really liked bread. I never really liked rice or pasta. I'll eat it, it's fine. But I will eat about seven bowls of berries. We have some kids with some different needs. So we've got a variety of milk and we have some stuff from our garden. How has your diet changed? I just enjoy healthy food these days. I don't desire chocolate cake. I'll have some, sure. I just don't wish for it. What would we never find in your fridge? I love olive oil and I despise olives. I will pour olive oil on everything I have, but if there's a single olive on my pizza, then I'm just done with the pizza. What would we always find in your fridge? I always have some sort of spicy condiment. I love to dress up whatever I'm eating with a hint of spice. What does your diet mainly consist of? My diet is mainly sandwiches. There's a place here in Austin called Snarf's. I get their sandwiches several times a week. I'll go to Jimmy John's or I'll just have a, a sandwich here standing by. Do you cook? I enjoy cooking a lot. I don't think I'm good at it. I love to grill. If I have to do something for a crowd, it's going to be some cuts of steak. What's your snacking strategy? Go with a cold glass of water first and then wait 10, 15 minutes and see if I'm still feeling peckish. Otherwise, it probably meant I was just dehydrated. Any foods that you hate? Olives, black licorice, chocolate. Beyond that, I'm pretty easy. What's your go-to comfort food? Microwave nachos. It's not exactly the healthiest comfort food, but for now, I'll enjoy my chips and cheese melted. What's your go-to protein? If I get home late from work and it's midnight and I'm exhausted, but I know I need some protein, I'll usually just microwave a chicken breast, put on some Cholula or something, and eat it and go to bed. What would your dream cheat day look like? It would start out with eggs and bacon, and then good old classic Austin breakfast tacos, and then brisket or Tex-Mex. All right, that's on my fridge. Come check out the gyms. This is my weight room. Nothing here is for decoration. Everything is used and I use it all. Do you use any special equipment? I had shoulder surgery about six years ago and so my mechanics aren't the same as they used to be. And so grabbing a classic barbell and doing bench press or rows just works differently. So I found that dumbbells fit my routine a little better these days. What are your fitness goals? My fitness goals these days are to just remain healthy and to avoid injury. I want to play with my kids, to enjoy travel and ride a bike around town or go for a jog around the city. I don't worry these days about how I look. I worry these days about how I feel. What music do you listen to when you're working out? Sometimes I'll go with just something current and poppy that I don't even know the lyrics to or the singer. If I really need an extra boost, I'll go back to Seattle Grunge, you know, Swimming Pilots, Pearl Jam. Do you have any scars? I do have some scars up here, just from where I had arthroscopic surgery. Nothing too crazy, knock on wood. Knock on whatever this is. What do you do for recovery? So one of the things I do for recovery is I use my infrared sauna, which is just downstairs outside of the cardio room. It's easy to go to a gym and just beat yourself up. What's more important is making sure you're recovered for the next day. Welcome to our cardio room. Usually if I'm up in the morning early, then I am right here moving my legs, practicing my work. How has your exercise regimen changed over time? It depends on what I'm doing. You know, if I have to do a scene where I'm horseback riding, then I try to make sure that I, I do stuff that's based on a hip hinge movement. Whereas if I have to do some scene where I'm I don't take my shirt off or something, and I'll do a little bit more shoulders and traps and chest and lats and stuff. My workouts these days are more based on overall health and fitness more than a way I want to look. What do you consider to be an intense workout? The most intense workouts that I do are high intensity intervals, hill sprints, the assault bike. These days at this age with three kids and a full-time job, I think the most intense for me is really those uh, high intensity intervals. What's one exercise that you hate? I love a squat workout, but I hate the three or four days after that, especially having to go back on a set and do a stunt scene, do a, a fighting scene. I love doing squats, but I hate the next couple of days. All right, Jared, it's time for some rapid fire questions. 
Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Deadlift. Favorite song in your playlist? I want more by Kaleo. Crossfit, yes or no? Sure. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Dumbbells. Run on a treadmill or the great outdoors? Great outdoors. Big legs or big arms? Big legs. Cardio or weights? Weights. Biggest compliment, jacked, cut, ripped, or swole? Jacked. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Come on, Arnold. All right, guys, I would love to sit around and chat, but I have some lines to memorize. So, um, you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. So get out of here.